Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'll be doing a Vancouver Airport update. Now, much like my uh, Toronto Airport updates, the airport is becoming pretty crowded, so I'm hoping to get that bigger mat soon. Unfortunately, I'm not able to currently expand the airport, as we have stuff full in the basement from an estate, so there's no room to, and I might choose to spend my money on some 747 tickets instead. But we'll see, and I definitely plan on getting that larger expansion at some point. But yeah, I also do plan on bringing in more Canadian aircraft. I don't plan on stopping my collection anytime soon, so it's going to get to a point where I might need to make an interim expansion to our airports. But without a further ado, let's get into this. Here we have, lining up for takeoff, this WestJet 737-800 going to Winnipeg today. Lining up behind him, we have this EVA Air 777-300ER, which will be headed out to Taipei today. Now, usually they've been using the 787-9 and the 787-10 on this route as of late. However, the 777 does still sometimes serve on this route. Next up, we have this WestJet Q400, which will be headed out to Kelowna today. Now, I'm hoping that WestJet paints some Q400s in the new livery soon. Next up, here we have this Air Canada Rouge A321, which will be headed out to Quebec City today. Next up, here we have this Air Canada 787-9, which will be making its way out to Seoul today. Here we have this Air Canada A220, which will be headed out to San Francisco today. Next up, here we have the Flare Air 737-800, which will be making its way out to Calgary today. Now, I am getting the Threshold exclusive uh, Flare Air 737 MAX 8, along with an Aeromexico 737 MAX. However, if NG makes the Flare Air 737 MAX with their... A uh, new Max mold they're supposedly coming out with, or Gemini Jets, I'll buy that one too. Following that, we have the Air Canada 777-300ER, which will be making a flight out to London Heathrow today. Next up, we have this Lufthansa 747-400, which will be making its way out to Frankfurt today. Now, this aircraft is tied for first, is my favorite aircraft, tied with the Air Canada 767. Uh, but this aircraft has been consistently operating this route for about the past six months, and it appears to... Still be scheduled on it for the next while here, so I'm hoping I can book on this route to fly the 747-400 sometime in October. But if all works out, that'll be quite the trip. Following that, we have the Air Transat A321neo, which will be making a flight out to Toronto today. Following that, we have the Singapore Airlines A350, which will be headed out to Singapore today. Now, unfortunately, this route is going to be discontinued soon. However, Fiji Airways will be flying to Vancouver sometime soon now. Next up, we have the Air Canada Q400, which will be making a short hop over to Victoria today. Next up, here we have a United 737-800, which will be making a flight down to Denver today. Here we have the Air Canada A321, which will be headed out to Edmonton today. Now, I'm hoping NG do make the A320 and A319 for Air Canada. Air Canada currently only has one A319, but, you know, I figured it'd be cool to have a model of one. But the A320 would be a really useful model to have, as that model hasn't been made in a long time, and not in the new livery. Here we have a cargo jet 757, which has just come in from Hamilton today. And parked next to it, we have a UPS 767, which will be re getting ready to go out to Louisville today. Next up, we have the Lufthansa A350-900, which is getting loaded up for a flight out to Munich. Next up, we have this Alaska Airlines Q400, which has just come in on a flight from Seattle. Now I hope I can get the Alaska Airlines Q400 in the retro livery at some point because that's the only Alaskan Q400 I've flown and I did fly it on that exact route. However, unfortunately, the Alaskan Q400 is about to be retired, so by the time I get it, I probably won't be able to use it in the airport updates. Next up, we have the Delta A321, which will be making a flight out to Minneapolis-St. Paul today. Now, I'm glad they're using the A321 now because that's the only uh, Delta model I have in the new livery and... Previously, they've been using the A319s, but it looks like the A321 has been upgraded to fly on this route, and the A321 has also been upgraded to fly on the Calgary route from time to time, so happy to have them using the A321 because it fits my model airport better now. And here we have a WestJet 737 MAX 8, which is just boarding for a flight out to Honolulu. Following that, here we have a Sunwing 737-800, which is getting prepped for a flight out to Toronto. Now, I'm kind of hoping the Sunwing brand just gets absorbed into WestJet and we get some WestJet 737-800s in the new livery, but who knows? I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that merger. 
here we have an Air Canada CRJ900, which is just having its bags unloaded after coming in from Saskatoon. And here we have an Air Canada A220 in the TCA Retrojet Special Livery, which has just come in from Los Angeles. And finally, a model that I almost forgot to include and am now just at the end of recording this realizing I forgot to put in, the Air Canada 737 MAX 8, which will be making a flight out to Newark. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys back next time.